All right, we're gonna watch uh, the first caddy video. We're gonna watch is the ripoff world of Crash Bandicoot merchandise. Uh, this was from four months ago. Uh, <laughs> no promise if I see family. Okay. <laughs> so, well, all right. I guess that would be asking for too much. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be the first one. It's about a, a little under a minute and a half. So let's get into it. I honestly never thought of. I honestly never thought of like the ripoff merchandise for like Crash Bandicoot and shit. You don't really think. I don't. Well, I don't really think about it until it's like in my face. It's like, yeah, people rip off everything, don't they? Also, fuck that. It's not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i like crash bandicoot and that's why every june i try to celebrate him i mean after all it's not only that was my a very realistic month, costume crash was... was the first video Shot. game i ever played and if you don't like it you can chode off so let's take a look back at why i love crash so much i've never done that before have i crash bandicoot is a video game and that's where it should have ended <laughs> but when something is good and it does well they make merchandise Oh my god. I don't even like M&Ms. And our favorite, <laughs> Cash Banuka, has had his fair share of merchandise for you to show off how much you love him. You know, you'll wake up one day, get ready with your grey Crash Bandicoot hat and put on your Crash Bandicoot Christmas woolly jumper because of all the snow in June. Head downstairs to sit at your, oh hang on, you forgot your pants. Put on your Aku Aku lounge pants, but don't worry about the matching pajama top because it doesn't fit you. Head downstairs <laughs> to sit at your Crash Bandicoot <laughs> breakfast table from Zabby.com. Call out. Get out out. your Crash Team racing coasters that fit together to make a complete car tire so you can put down your morning coffee in your Uka Uka oh my mug, God. And your Crash Bandicoot mug, and your Crash Bandicoot box mug, and your Crash Bandicoot box mug. Whip out your phone <laughs> with this Crash Bandicoot four phone case, and take a drink from your Uka Uka mug that's now a Crash Bandicoot pint glass, and then see you can buy even more Crash Bandicoot stuff online. So you go to get your Crash Bandicoot shoulder bag in order to dig in and find your Crash Bandicoot wallet. Oh, what's that? It's another Crash Bandicoot hat. And then you order the Crash Bandicoot thing you wanted, and then wait a week for it to arrive, only to discover they sent you the wrong thing, and now you have a Crash Bandicoot Pez dispenser. Oh, what the huh? fuck? What is that? <laughs> wait. That's my ear. Are you thinking? that I just blew my load all at once on all of the Crash Bandicoot merch I own for the sake of an intro joke. You don't have a clue who I am. And I wanted to make a whole video about <laughs> I'm beginning all the to insane learn. Crash merch that I could reasonably get my hands on, all the way from the mid-90s to the mid-2020s. Spending way too much in the process, easily upwards of a few thousand. I wish I was joking. I am single-handedly keeping this franchise alive. Some of this stuff is fantastic. <laughs> And some of it is trash without a god, but rest assured, they are all official. Even including everything you saw in that intro gag, with licensed packaging and everything, <laughs> even the costume. And that's why I wanted god, to make this video. Costume. It's so damn fascinating to me how far gone from planet Earth some of this shit is. God damn, why do I make Bandicunth in June? It's way too hot. These camera lights are not helping me, man. I can't handle this. <laughs> okay. Subtle. Insane Trilogy promo sweatband. Official. Before kicking off though, I want to make one thing clear. I will not be looking at any custom created unofficial things from Etsy and places like that because that rabbit hole is bottomless and all the rabbits are yeah, dead. Yeah, honestly, sadly mean honestly Etsy on would <laughs> no lie, Etsy would be like its own separate mini series. Some great things like this custom Crash and Coco plush that the lovely Clockter on Instagram made for me, along with this amazing acrylic Crash merry-go-round she also made That's for me, cool. or this burrito cortex plush from the lovely Miss Twyla on Instagram, and these two handmade masks from the lovely I don't know because they were a birthday present and I'm not going to find out who made them. I'm not an assassin. Not to mention, <laughs> if you go too far into the depths of Etsy, you end up finding oh, holy, oh my oh. god, oh for fuck's sake, what? Etsy. You know what gave me the inspiration for this for video fuck's though? Sake. I love going into vintage clothes shops to find bargains Oops, on extremely egg. cool clothes that were all the rage when I was a kid. Does that sound like I'm trying to dress up like a child? And the last time I was in one, I was lucky well? enough to snag this genuine 1997 Tomb Raider 2 shirt with all the logos on it and everything. IDOS there, core designs there, pretty sick. But then after finding this, it made something come out of my head. 
that I had buried 20 years ago. Sleepy, it's basically a furry game. Okay, you don't need to call it out like that, though. You don't... I mean, yeah, I was like Let's five be real, years old, Etsy has no chill. Trying to get into them nowadays would be like... <laughs> but after that memory was unlocked, I then thought, huh, surely they didn't just make kids clothes to promote a kids game. Why would they do that? And so I looked on eBay and managed to find three of them. And let's just say, thank God I found the Tomb Raider 2 one in a thrift shop. And that's because these kinds of shirts, on eBay at least, can go for extortionate prices. And these are no exception. These two here are from 1999 and offer Crash 2 and 3. The grey one still has its tag on it. Pretty cool. And according to the back, he's ready for action. With that face, I'd say he was more ready for a trumpet. And you know what? I don't blame him if he's ready for anything. If I were being tickled like this, I'd be ready to curb stomp you. The blue shirt is really all those cool body too, pillows? because it has crash Well, Well, I don't really think about it, because I've never wanted a body pillow. <laughs> the only time I'd be buying a body pillow would be for a certain someone, Phoenix. For a certain someone. Or as a gag gift, honestly. I don't... <laughs> And it's staring oh, at God. you through an air conditioning vent. The back, though, is where it really Not comes air alive. Look vent. at all this stuff going on. Crash is here, Crash is here, Crash's middle third is here. But at least they zoomed in and focused on the most important parts of the image. The bike's headlamp and the mud flap. Also, these two <laughs> being right next to each other really puts me off because the background is the same image split across two windows, meaning that there's a small crash here and a big crash standing right next to him that also just so happens to be a mirrored version of the smaller one. I'm gonna assume it's another bandicoot, and I'm gonna call him Rash. <laughs> the seller said it was large. <laughs> the seller said it was large! The best one I found, though, <laughs> undoubtedly, is this one. A 1997 promo Crash t-shirt for Crash 2. Logo on the front, and Crash is back on the back. Good thing that wasn't on the front. Look at Crash Go, flying from his home country of Brazil, and breaking free from the... <laughs> force field of national flags. I love this image. I swear to God, this should be the new logo for World Peace Day. Luckily, this shirt did end up fitting me, which is great because it goes really well with this 2020s official Crash Bandicoot beanie from BioWorld, the old mix with the new. But at least the beanie uses the original Crash Bandicoot logo, so it doesn't look too out of place. Or you could always wear the much cheaper official Crash Bandicoot bandana. So you can rep your Crash Bandicoot gang in England. Yo, Pip the oh Cheerio, my you skin bitch! But anyway, God. after finding those shirts, I then remembered about the time that Activision sent me this promotional Crash 4 jigsaw puzzle to tease the game ages before it was officially announced. Sadly, I can't find it anywhere in my house. I think I've lost it. But all of this got me thinking even more. Honestly, I love me a jigsaw what puzzle. What other mental as shit as not has boring Crash as stuck his face on? What were the limits of his depravity? How low did his morals go for selling out? And so, here we are, with this video. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I uh -oh. said the secret word, video. And you know what that means? Uh -oh. It's time to have a look at... I forgot the watch. <laughs> yeah, check this out. It's a Crash Team Racing Nitro-fueled watch. Perfect for those moments where you don't want to tell the time because it's broken. But hey, at least I can go about my day knowing that it's quarter past nose. It has new batteries in it, but it just doesn't move. I don't get it. How is it that something I ordered from my own country ends up breaking in transit, but then this 23-year-old Crash Team Racing RC car from America doesn't? Yeah, how fantastic is this? It's a genuine CTR remote-controlled car. With no box, sadly, but I wasn't going to display something yeah, as Yeah, but it looks so I'm good, though. I'm going to take it out and use it. It wasn't cheap. I'm going to get my money's worth. Hello. This oh, my God. Well. <laughs> yeah, this, I couldn't believe it either. Fucking but, thing yeah, again. The packaging, licensed by Activision. Um, no. It's horrible, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's really horrible. That this not was the, I can't. It's not a wireless RC car. So You're either a gang member or a terrorist. I can't. Uh, a bank robber? What's happening? Go, go, let's crash team racing. Let's go. Okay, yeah, he doesn't turn. Um, that's kind of a problem, but like, he does have a back button, which turns him the wrong damn direction. <laughs> His wheels also go over the wire when he's turning, so um, this isn't really working out how I... There we go. <laughs> and that's kind of the extent of that, I suppose. That wasn't too impressive, was it? Uh, that was two button. 
wired RC car that doesn't turn and doesn't go that quick. I think it's a bit of a waste of money. Why do kids need all this plastic light up electric shit anyway? Can't they be happy with a ball from the really? insane trilogy promo launch? Really? No, 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 come back! It was expensive! I'm mad now. It was now. expensive! Ah. <laughs> and when I'm mad, I slam my fist on the table. <laughs> it's a mug shaped like Crash's hand. What? This is not fake, this is real. Look, no. it says so right here on the box. It's a Crash Bandicoot shaped mug, even though I don't remember Crash Bandicoot being shaped like that. Look yeah. at this joke. If a bomb <laughs> dropped every time I said the word why about this design, it wouldn't be too many bombs, so I could live with it. The gags just write themselves. I mean, I mean, what do you expect me to do with it? You're daring me not to do it. It's even a cup for shit's sake. It's made to keep liquid in. Oh, no, God, oh my it. God. I were being sensible, he went there, all I could he think about there. while drinking from he this had, is the sweat in between Crash's to. sandy fingers. Would you it. drink water from someone else's yep, hand like that? Yep. I wouldn't even do it with my own hand, and I know where my hands there are There are phoenixes. Been. Hang on. Caddy, what are you doing in space? <laughs> I knew you'd be talking about merchandise, so I flew all the way to Japan and bought you back some things. Wow, <laughs> just for me? I'm not thanking you. Oh no, I'm overheating. <laughs> huh, look at these. How awesome are Thanks, they? Spidey. Japanese Crash Bandicoot manga. These are official too. It's a shame I can't yeah, read we're watching, them, but they this are is our class first either way. Just looking at them is video enough for me. Of the night. Check out we're watching here. another one right after like this. A big fish? I suppose I could always we're get celebrating the surviving and use Turkey Translate, Day. But then we end up with Bandicoot Sight and Spudgers is a big Licensed adventure. Oh my god, Chansu Phoenix, every is time. A big adventure in class and Pandicta Adventure with TM 900,000 Big Bandic Motad. So I think it's a better <laughs> idea for me to just start learning Japanese instead. Oh. Do books catch diseases? Wait a yes, second. they actually do. If the paper from books I'm pretty can sure get they sick, do. Then that means you probably should have wore gloves. Just Other saying. things made of paper can get. Hello, I'm Spots. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone. Fuck's Spots sake. is dying. I can't keep going. I can't afford the medical bills. Oh, thank God, no more sponsor interruptions. So anyway. Oh no, I'm still doing them. I've got one right now from the Racker Blade Point. Why? You'll be dead soon. What's the point? I just can't afford the medical bills at the moment, but after this, I'll be fine. Not the hospital bed. Grappling and platforming and an endless collection of different weapons to mess around with. <laughs> it's really damn good, and it should be obvious because Naraka is an anagram of rank. Wait, that's not a good word, is it? Right now, the game is free to play, so there's no better time to jump in on Steam, Epic Games, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PS5, Deck of Cards, Grandfather Clock, and Release Music. Um, Mr. Spons, somebody on the phone wants to wish you a swift recovery. Oh, really? Who is it? Oh, wow. It's the 20 million people that have played Naraka already. Oh, my God. The vast arsenal of melee weapons, each with their own dynamic moves. Leading yeah, sponsorship to never dies. Possibilities to get gonna the gonna be on that IV drip. Shootout rolling games out. I definitely haven't done any sponsors with in the past. Naraka uses a counter system to allow you to predict the enemy's next attacks and then use the best actions to attack back. It's not just about being quick and hitting triggers before everyone else. Everybody meets you on the same level and fights can go on as long as they need to with rock, paper, scissors, star melee attacks that <laughs> what the fuck? In real time. It sounds good, doesn't it? So head to the description right now to download I'm, the I'm game. I'm good. I'm looking to get a load of free skins and chests. Please do it now. I want to see my family again. Why are you paying I'm good. for your healthcare? The NHS doesn't cover kites. Oh. They're racist. Okay, let me know when you're dead. <laughs> While still on the topic of Japan, here are a couple of little tiny crash figurines from there. If I'm right in my research, then specifically these are from the Universal Studios theme park in Japan, possibly from Gacha Machines, but I'm not sure. These are notable for two reasons. First of all, because this is one of the only pieces of merch for Penta Penguin I think I've ever seen, very quaint. <laughs> and secondly, because this is the best pose Crash has ever been in. <laughs> Yay! There's also what this the itsy fuck? bitsy teeny weeny ickle pickle. Car pulley back back car backy back. 
And my personal favorite, <laughs> these backpack straps. Check it out. It's a baby T figure. That's adorable. Actually, wait a second. I was wrong. These aren't backpack right, straps. Big, big, They're stripper stitching mobile the phone up. charms. Oh boy, who remembers that era of tech? You'd have this tiny flat little phone the size of a debit card with a giant plaited sausage hanging off of it. Who did this to their poor phones? Make yourselves I known. I want to know who put... Yeah, who the fuck was doing this? Because I honestly never understood the point of that. I never understood it. Like, what was the point of that? Because I saw my, so much shit for it. And I just... I... I just didn't get it. I did not understand. Doubles as a flail weapon. <laughs> Listen, I just carry a brick in my back pocket. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you never had a phone that could have phone charms uh, yeah that's also a thing it's like some of the phones you couldn't even have the charms on so <laughs> put these on their phones so i can send myself to you in a barrel and have a talk with you another japanese what? thing i got my hands on were these pretty rare keyring figures from 1998 surprisingly high detailed and even better they even move Wow. Not very much, but they still move. Look, wow. he's nearly 30 years old. He has arthritis. He's practically dead. Not to mention, wow. I don't think I've ever seen merchandise related to one of Crash's <laughs> death animations before. This slightly translucent ghost Crash is terrific. I kind of want to use him, but I don't want to ruin him either. You know, any more ruined than he already is because you know, he's dead. My favorite thing that yeah, I've found shots from have Japan been fired, specifically, Yuka. though. Shots have been fired. This is a Crash Team Racing toy made from rubber i shit you not this is a one inch tall crash team racing figure from japan made entirely from orange rubber why does this exist who bought this why, why did i spend possibly the highest amount of money per tenth of a pound oh my of rubber God. in existence for it so that i could show you on camera in a video that there is a crash team racing figure from japan made entirely from orange rubber. I don't know what to say. What can I say? It's one color. It doesn't move. When you throw it on the floor, it doesn't bounce back to you, flies outside and never comes back. If you use it as an English rubber, it's not very good. Probably and if you attacks use it as one an American of the neighbors. Rubber, then you have a very strange knob. But hey, if you think that's a bad contraceptive, then take a look at this on my shelf. It's the complete opposite. It's not even it's a such racer. a good contraceptive that it repels women before they even go near me. This here is the Insane Trilogy Limited Crash Statue from First for Figures released in 2017. Number 969 out of 1000. 1450. And nice. It is brilliant. But with something like this, nice. I'm not getting any of that. The level of detail is <laughs> meticulous from the creases on his trousers to the shading in his hair. He's not too cute, not too ugly, not too manic, not too sane. And he even has a belly button, reminding you that he had to have his cord cut. It even comes with Crash's social security card, where he IDs himself uh, as a painful vegan crap. And so the circle of wait. life carries on <laughs> from something very big to something very small these are yet again from japan okay. nano blocks but wait but i have seen these like not the not the uh all of these but i have seen crash himself for the little nano things like they they're actually i i see them pop up more than a couple of times when i'm i'm shopping online somewhere they're actually kind of popular I'm not sure Lego, how popular that is. A thousand times smaller, a thousand times harder, yeah, and instead of hurting one? your feet, nice, the pieces nice vanish into your skin, never to be seen again. Even though <laughs> imported from Japan, these little things in the UK, at least, are available in pretty much every major game shop at extremely cheap prices. <clears throat> and so, as a Lego fan, I couldn't say no to them. This is the complete set of Crash Block sets, and they are extremely neat, but also a total joke at the expense of yeah, anyone some that of bought them. The, the Nano Black things... Some of them are like either super cheap or a little bit pricey. There, there's no like middle ground. They're either cheap or not. So, later stops stops to pose a similarly old. Yeah, I, I, I oh hear some God. shit if about when it comes kids, to books. It's, not only have you made a mistake, wild, but also me? don't get them nano blocks. They are the most awkward, fiddly, and delicate pieces of bastard I've ever seen. Building them requires an engineering degree, and they fall apart if you so much as breathe on them. I <laughs> hate it whenever I need to move these little idiots around because there is a 98% chance my beloved engine will lose his legs and turn into Humpty Dumpty. And then you have to spend four hours searching for his legs because of how tiny they are, only for you to find them two days later living in your arm crease. I love oh these my things, God. but don't buy them oof i need to calm down and what better way to calm down than with this good loot crash bandicoot 4 jigsaw puzzle
Okay, before he says anything, I don't know where this is going, but I do love me a jigsaw puzzle. I just hate the generic ones. Like this one, I would take it simply because it's it's not a generic ass. God, majority of them have like the same picture on them, what looks like anyway. And why do some of them have like a, a Christmas theme on them when it's like summertime? Why? Spice up your jigsaw puzzle game. That's all I'm saying. No! Okay, fine. How about an easier puzzle? And when I say easier, I mean like ignoring your mother when she calls you kind of easy. Here is a Kashibanuka uh, 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 foam puzzle from the year mom. 2000. I'd love to say this was cool and worth the price tag, but this doesn't even look legit. The artwork is so cheap. Is Crash holding a cane while waving to the royals? Oh, hello, King Charles. How's your <laughs> mum doing? The logo yeah. is tacky. The drawings are tacky. It's way too easy. Hang on. Is this for babies? Do babies do jigsaw puzzles with foam? Why foam? Is it so that you can do it in the bath? Who wants to solve yeah, jigsaw this puzzles with Johnson and Johnson fuck. in your eyes? <laughs> Damn. Oh no, you just got Crash Bandicoot PC mouse matted. <laughs> From the year 2000, here's another thing that's phony <laughs> and way too easy as a jigsaw. I did it. The official Crash Bandicoot mouse mat. For all the times you needed Why? a crash with no neck to keep you company while you spent more time on your computer, which is no, not where wait. any of his games you know what that's for? That You know what that's for? You know what that's for? <laughs> We're tying it in to the... To the uh, the fucking PlayStation 1 accessories. The fucking PlayStation 1 mouse. <laughs> try to try to play Crash Bandicoot on this mouse Crash Bandicoot mouse pad with the PlayStation 1 mouse. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is ludicrous. How are you supposed to use it? It's comically small. I can barely fit my mouse. I, in fact, it's small enough to even be my mouse. Oh, I'm thirsty. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, oh no! Jesus. Oh no! They didn't think too much about this design, did they? Oh, I forgot that I'm trying no. to find something to calm me down. This is failing. I need something else, preferably something that isn't <laughs> screaming at me. <laughs> oh, I know. This. At first glance, this thing is terrible. It's a cool figure of Crash in a cart, but the wheels don't spin, the arms don't turn, and the engine falls off. Well, great. How will I get to work now? And that's because this is not just a figure. It's a figure with a purpose. For within the engine bay, you can put an incense cone, set it alight, and then holy shit, that is ace. Yeah, this is an official Crash Team Racing incense burner. And Wait. it's probably the only time in your life where willingly putting a fire in your car engine is a good idea. I Wait, love stuff really? Like this. It's not only really cool, just to look at on its That's own. That's actually pretty cool. Also Wait has a, a minute. Practical use, and it just so happens that that practical use makes it look even cooler. This is some sick merchandise. Wow! So Hold up! Is that <laughs> on fire? That's good. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> Since you did a divorce, Overwatch, you need a new mad titty mouse pad. You're still using your Overwatch one? That's the one I still have. I have my Overwatch pad. It's uh, God fucking was, God damn it, Widowmaker. Like hers is her her ass. <laughs> That's the one I'm still using. <laughs> Cause for some reason I have not just changed it at all. <laughs> it's still comfy too. William the useless fireman. <laughs> yeah, go William. Well, I suppose while everything's on fire. Okay, so it is the, the one I was thinking about. The Hanzo Titan. Bandicoot lights from Paladone. Oh, wait, wait a second, where's my crash one? <laughs> oh my god. These kinds of merch, honest to god, confuse my little bum. I am not against lights at all, I love lights. But these miniature battery-powered ones just don't do anything for me. They aren't that bright, they slam batteries down like a drunk, and they don't look particularly good either. I mean, just look at poor Crash. <laughs> He looks like he's being slowly killed from radiation. The skin around his mouth crosses over the level of fleshy pink that I'm comfortable with. His stubby hands don't have any fingers. His arms look like they'd make wet slapping noises and smell of fish. Way too much time was put into the curvature of his cake. And what the hell is going on down <laughs> here? He looks like a penguin in a G-string. The company that made these lights is called Paladone. And in their defense, there is one miniature battery powered light they make that I do like this TNT one. Not only because it's shaped like what it's supposed to be, but because in-game TNT course, glows after you jump pillow. on top of it, which is exactly the same <laughs> idea <laughs> here. It makes perfect sense if you're looking for an ideal quirky gift for a Crash Bandicoot fan. The best thing about it though is that it doesn't only light up when you push it down, but it even does the sound. 
Actually, Paladone also made this <laughs> Sounds neat exactly little thing. like a it. USB nightlight Just of like Crash in the game. suffocating in a jar. <laughs> I don't get the theming, but I won't complain. It does look pretty cool. It feels like I've captured an endangered forest nymph. Hey, baby, I noticed you look at me when I shouted at you to look at me. Why don't we cut the small talk and get down to business in my love nest? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I knew this it. isn't official. It's a Chinese bootleg king size bed set. Phoenix, goddammit. But it. can you blame me for Phoenix. ignoring my own rules for just one damn second? Because this is the funniest shit I think I've ever seen. Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night and that on. face is staring right into your eyes? Can you imagine looking down in the morning Sorry and seeing you Crash's that. greasy fingers resting on your chest? Oh. Can you imagine your children coming in to wake you up after a nightmare and then this rises from the dark <laughs> to comfort them? Can you imagine being intimate with your- I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but that would, that would kind of scare me at night <laughs> if I was like by myself and I just saw that. Partner, but it isn't your partner. It's Crash Bandicoot. Oh I can't think God, of a far, single far. reasonable justification get you for laid? anybody wanting to buy this, Asking bootlegged or not. Questions. So why is it available to buy? Who wants this? I mean, I know I bought it, but shut up. Polar, what we're doing is completely <laughs> natural. Stop screaming. It's just that face, man. Whether you're sleeping, relaxing, or Caddy mashing over here one out, I can't tell if he's horrified a whole or is video. waiting for his turn. Disgusting, heinous, criminal. And for God's sake, why are there three of them at once? Perhaps it's time for us to get out of bed then and slip on our officially licensed cash banuka socks. <laughs> then make our way downstairs while playing Crash Bandicoot by Tiger Electronics, being extra careful not to f- <laughs> <laughs> These fucking things annoyed the shit out of me. I hated these things. I hated him so much. I broke my ribs for this. I'll break more if you don't shut up. <laughs> oh, look, everyone. It's... Who is it? I've got something for you in the kitchen. Wow, for me? Uh-huh. Follow me, kiddo. La, 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 Golly, I wonder what kind of present he has for me in there. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a, a, a plate or a... Baguette? Man, I just can't wait. It's like Christmas came early. But it isn't Christmas. That's why it's early. <laughs> go, go, get you your medal now. Uh. <laughs> First of all, this here is a giant Fuck. crash plush from 2001, and I'm pretty sure it came from Crane Games or Theme Park Fairground attractions as a prize. I don't know, honestly. Blah, blah, blah. Ah. Sorry, I, was like, I gotta get the character. And secondly, these are vintage fridge magnets from 2001, still sealed. And even though I would love to keep it that way, I'm sorry, these are dress-up pieces. I'm opening this bitch and slutting Crash out as much as I can. These were only available in the US back in the day, and that sucks because Kid Me would have sat on the kitchen floor playing with these for hours. What the yeah. fuck? Kids today have their smartphones and their Fortnite. What the frickity I fuck? Why is <laughs> this? Everyone. I did it. The ultimate life form. But they all... It's not just magnets. They just... They also... Made it to where you could actually do you know this shit. what else shit? I had as a kid? Plastic toys that came for free in cereal boxes. Is that still a thing today? If it isn't, you kids are missing out. The toy was the tastiest part of the box. Once again, from 2001, which at well, this point might as well be the Crash Bandicoot merchandise renaissance, Nestle cereals came with either a Spyro the Dragon toy, a Tomb Raider toy, or a Cash Banuka toy. There were six in total, two for each franchise, and I have both of the Crash ones right here. They're pretty cute, and I remember having my fun with them as a kid. This one here is a weighted magic balancing Crash thing with a little dent in his chin so you could stick him on a pencil and... Oh, and then there's this one where Crash looks exactly like a all your lamp friends. at your nan's house, and all you do is press your that fingers you totally down have. here, and then do what Crash does best: spin. Just like you know in the what? game. These children's cereal toys that came for free are not very impressive. Dun dun dun! Yeah, 
God dang it. God dang it. Well, so far we've seen a nice variety of stuff, haven't we? Some yeah, I kind of missed the, some the good vintage, ones. There were some, some that had cool horrible, toys in them, but, but you know what we haven't done yet? Some of them Ooh. were just And where I wish haunting, I could tell you honestly. the Wumpa Fruit was real, I suppose this is the next best thing. Your eyes don't uh, deceive you. Of course. This is Crash Bandicoot G Fuel. What does the G stand for? Good. I'm so... Okay, I'm just going to be honest. I am so sick of G Fuel. <laughs> I tried it in the past. Honestly, I only tried it because I wanted one of their cups. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's changed since I've last had it. Like, I had it like a year or two ago or something like that. I don't know. Time is an illusion. But it has this weird metallic aftertaste. And I don't trust it. But also, it's fucking everywhere. And I'm sick of seeing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You never tried it? You're a monster girl? I've had monster. There's some monsters I don't mind drinking. But yeah, I don't like most energy drinks. But if I have to drink one, it's not going to be a fucking G Fuel. I'm sorry. It's not. Oh, did somebody say goose? I'm cooking one right now. <laughs> I'm not eating that. Bonjour, <laughs> Look, it's my show, and I am the Sam Widge. And today we're going to be Hello, cooking Witch, one of Sam. my family favorite recipes. Nudes. Start with you want to Not the nudes. Oh, oh my. Stick it on high heat. Go and get your noodles <laughs> and then take the crispy noodles out of the packer. Uh, Need an adult. And then take the flavor packet and put it in the bin. Hello, it's me, the bin. Garbage. I love eating rubbish. Give it me. Just <laughs> stop. Bye. Then what you want to do is you want to get the dry noodles. Someone warned the, the fire dry, department. Then make sure you get yeah, what's his face? William, the G not good fire boil. or whatever. Make sure you open the can with your official Crash Bandicoot bottle opener. Wait. That's not... Okay, hold on. No. Wait, stop. 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 Call the fire department. And then store <laughs> it in. Oh, I spit, I spit, I go. No! Store it very regularly until the nudes go all soft and rope. What is it? Where Just is when it? you're about to finish, make sure call, to add your optional spiral Call 999. <laughs> and Knuckles Wee! Okay. This stuff stinks of B.O. What is that? And voila. It's G Fuel! On appetite, bitches. Right, so first impressions. Um, this from the smell, it's it smells like something that my mum would have given me as a child when I had a runny nose. It smells like <laughs> some sort of child's medicine. Um, it's not the nicest smell, but it's not the worst smell either. It's very fruity. It's, I feel like I'm about to eat some like vegan jackfruit burrito. I guess there's no better way to figure out what it's like than to just. Oh, <laughs> He's like regretting no, his whole entire no, no. career right in this second. You know what? I'm committing to it. I'm gonna swallow it. I promise I'm gonna have to swallow That's it. That's what he one. said. I can't chew it. Every time I chew it, a new sour fruit comes out. <laughs> I did it. Um, I ate my first and only mouthful. Um, I bought those three cans imported from the US because they don't sell them in the UK. That was £18 for the three of them. That was the biggest waste of food I think I've ever done. Don't do that at home unless you have a YouTube. No, just don't. No, just don't do it. Okay, it's <laughs> not even for the YouTube. <laughs> live first proper taste test. You know what? I don't, I don't mind it. It's really nice, actually. That's Wait for surprising. it. Oh. Okay, it's the fucking... I was going to say it had a really nice... Soft, floaty, juicy, refreshing taste. I'm telling y'all. The aftertaste has just kicked in. I told you! The fucking and aftertaste! It's really bitter. And it's now, oh god. It's not bitter. It's traveling right back up. It, oh, tastes, it tastes like. Okay, I don't know if that's because you murdered someone and drink their blood afterwards, the like a day or two afterwards. Is the worst bit. 
it all of a sudden goes from really tropical fruity and kind of mango-y, kind of um, pineapple-y, and then it it just completely nosedives after you get that nice taste out. Of, like once it goes down your system, it just becomes gamer grease. And sadly, gamer the grease. only other vaguely food-related thing I was able to find were these adorable little cake toppers. Yeah, that's from what France I'm saying. It's like it's entirely from. It's mostly the aftertaste that usually makes or break an energy drink because most of them they all they usually taste pretty much the same but the aftertaste i i i just some of them make you do how do i know how that tastes listen i don't want to talk about it spider listen i don't want to talk about it you know we've moved on we've had the documents sealed for a reason we're not gonna go back in my past <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I watched Murder She Wrote like once. <laughs> China. <laughs> it's a good show, by the way. <laughs> oh, hey, Coco. Why do you look like Prince? These are especially <clears throat> cute and extremely delicate. I love them to pieces, and they were surprisingly <laughs> valuable for how small they are, but you can't eat them. Well, you can, but. You might block the bit that makes you breathe. So in that oh case, while we're still on this weird figure high, why don't we take a look at these action figures from Head Start? These are pretty cool Some of these figures are Nuka nightmarish. In a big tent, meaning each figure doesn't only come with one of the new masks from the game, but just like the game, they also feature 11 points of articulation. You know, just like this bird. Oh my... No! <laughs> That's not one of the points. They also show off Crash in a few of the costumes from the game, including the biker jacket. This figure alone was worth it for me. It looks great. I would have bought this with or without me making this video. I'm a right cuck. This Coco figure looks <laughs> dead serious, though. What is with her face? Who pissed in her cornflakes? Why are you judging me for buying toys? It says they're five no plus. One, That's me. No one pissed in her cornflakes. It, it's the G Fuel that tastes like a dead body after two, three days, you know? That's what it was. Instead of milk, it was G Fuel. I'm calling it. Me? I'm 5 plus by 24 years. Shove off. I'm allowed to be an adult <laughs> liking this stuff. See? I have a Crash Bandicoot adult coloring book. For adults. That do coloring. I mean, I don't. Like, I mean, good, just look. <laughs> and I don't know, man. Something looks God. a bit off with this Cortex figure. He looks about ready to do the bump. What shade of lipstick is that, Ned? Oh, hello. I noticed you from across the bar, and I really dig your vibe. By the way, I got all of these figures brand new from Amazon, and whether it's from the supply chain or the delivery, I'm not sure, but where some of these figures are boxed and packaged perfectly, other ones arrived like this, and I have no idea why. Are they old returns sold to me as new? This injustice won't stand. Stop looking at me like that fruity cortex. The thing is, though, <laughs> so far at least, these are the only available figures from this line of toys, except for one, a limited edition golden crash figure. And how do you get that one? By getting it in a pack with three other figures that you already have. This is upside down, isn't it? <laughs> the things I do, eh? And all just so that I can say, it's, look, it, there he is. Well, it's Crash, but one ugly color. Cortex, I'm gonna skate off of your beard. <laughs> Here's another one from Head Start. It's yet another Crash figurine, but a little bit bigger, and it comes with a free lick. It's basically the same idea as the other ones, but now you can swap out the hands with hands and swap out the mouth with... Oh, oh dear, that's horrific. Don't worry. Be happy. <gasps> you know what? I feel like I unfairly skimmed over this thing a second ago. Yeah, I couldn't believe that this was a real thing until I found it. A Cash Banuka coloring book. Clearly not from the UK because, you know, just it's dip a normal wrong. one in cold paint. speak English and we're from a country called England. We are correct. Cope and see. I'm not massively one for coloring, but I still loved looking through the pictures here and seeing the possibilities. Oh! <laughs> Crash, speak to me. What happened to you? Your eye left you. Why do you look like an old man? Uh, you youngins and your Facebook <laughs> and your electric lights. I just want to ride my bike. Here is an image of Coco <laughs> either running away from a boulder or wearing a massive hat. Ooh. No! Coco, no! are you okay? Why do you have a chin from Dr. Seuss? Are they... Are they human teeth? Oh. 
<coughs> oh my, I'm so sorry Fuck if you're the creative sake. type but not hugely sold on a book. May I interest you in a Crash 4 pre-order cardboard cube construction kit for all the moments that you wish Dingadar looked like a 1950s TV? <laughs> Cortex is a block of cheddar. Either way, even though I do think that some of these books' pictures are a little bit... suspect, I still think this thing is pretty neat. Jesus Christ, here we go. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You know. I still haven't forgiven you for that. Come on, man, that was 15 years ago. I know what you do with colouring pens. No. Nope. Not anymore, I don't. Ooh, you can run. You can run forever, but you can't hide. Your past will always catch up to you. And when it does, I'll be there, waiting. What the fuck? Right. Now let's take a look at something. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Here is an extremely rare Japanese-only Santa Claus plush from the late 90s. I'm not sure where it's from exactly, but all I can say is that it's not for sale. Well, well then why did I buy it then? This is completely adorable. It's not it's for perfect. sale. No, no. So that means with that someone who worked there knows. I now have a new Christmas sold tree it. topper. Angel they Gabriel, took that shit. shit, mate. Crash Bandicoot helped the wise men find Jesus. And you know what? <laughs> I wish I could find Jesus because after looking at these 2022 Crash plushes from Playboy, Play, might be a bit I, mental. I um, need the help of the law. There go, is no amount of squish. I know I'm still technically new in learning the the caddy world. The caddy universe, the caddy lore, as it is. Uh, but yeah, that that was pretty fucking obvious from the first video I watched. <laughs> it was not subtle at fucking all. It was not subtle. <laughs> yanking that you can possibly Just do to make bit. these look appealing. What child wants to snuggle this? If one of my kids wanted one of these, I'd swap the kid out for another one. Look at him grinning at <laughs> Just you with his chad arms. Why is he so top heavy? He's built like a brick shit house. Then there's this masked version of the plush, which looks like Aku Aku was fused onto Crash's face like an alien movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Cortex. Yeah. There he is. There What's he your favourite part about him? That he has broccoli hands? Or that he's shaped like a baseball bat. Oh! Oh! My head bone! <laughs> not your head bone. So yeah, I don't like these. And this was not the only time play by play made. I think the first one was mostly Jeebus' fault. <laughs> You go. With a suction cup on it. Blame you know, it on just Jeebus. In case he's finally had enough and wants to end it. But that does mean you can put him anywhere to watch over you. He can watch you in the living room. He can <laughs> oh watch God. you from the flowers. He can watch you in the car. He can watch you in the garden. He can watch you in the fridge. He can watch you in the shower. Okay. He can watch you from the doorbell. All he can right. watch you under the table. Please it, wear trousers. I prefer this getting, design to the other play by play plushes, but it's, it's still getting more not and more menacing. Great. What is going on with that hairy worm on his face? I'm pretty sure Crash has two eyebrows, right? He looks like a Greek used car salesman. And I guess business hasn't been doing too well between you and me he got caught for tax evasion and this wasn't the only time some <laughs> mad man the stuck a suction evasion. cup on crash's head here's another one from the year 2000 I'm learning so much about crash this is the, most vile thing I've ever seen. This is the perfect perfect right, right here oh my god Here's another vintage plush. Easily my favorite one from 2001. Once again, from Playboy. I feel Club. like this isn't the most vintage the more crash videos plush of his I, I watch. I feel like we need like a camera on the neighbors, like just a cutaway camera to their reaction to the the shenanigans and shit he gets up to. Like, I just want to see a cutaway to their reaction to, to shit happening around them. Like, I would I would love to see it. But the anatomy is perfect. The design is old school Crash and not Dwayne Johnson. It's exactly how I remember Crash looking in the face when I was a kid. But in plush form, <clears> no <throat> complaints. This is bingo bingo nice boy. And breaking <laughs> news, we even get the world's first official confirmation on my channel only that Crash has an outie. <gasps> it's quite big though. Crash, we need you on chemo. Well, at least this wow. one is a lot better than this other one I found from 2001. The fuck? As far as I'm aware, this is the same plush from the same year, but from Universal Studios Australia. And I've got to say, Australia, this is one of the only video game mascots you have, and you decided to put a dead skunk on his head. This wasn't the only time- Yeah, Australia- 
all right they barely have any allow any video games in their fucking place all right and <laughs> apparently they also believe that everyone has a caterpillar on their face when they're a video game character we love to see it I'm Ivan. Yeah, Check that's some this Aussie Universal Bush. Studios Australia Plus from 2005. You think the Crash of the Titans design is bad? Well, take a look <laughs> at this vermin. His arms are lumpy. How can his arms be lumpy? And just look at his eyebrows. <laughs> How could they do? Actually, you know what? I take all of that back. Here is an American Universal Studios Plus from 1998. And blow me, what is this? I didn't know they well, did it's from a 1998. Plus of Trump. <laughs> They all look like they were wearing like bad wigs in the 90s, oh, look, so. Quick, everyone! There it goes! For fuck's sake, Caddy. And then, at the very end God of the tunnel, it. waiting to greet you as you cross over Who to the Who lets him out of the house anymore? This like... one. The same people that made those Crash 4 figures that fell out of the box from earlier also made this. That's not Crash <laughs> Bandicoot, that's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. This one blows <laughs> chunks and sucks them back in again. There's nothing else to say about it. It isn't cool, it isn't cute, it isn't even hot. I didn't know Crash's special power was keeping nuts in his mouth. Oh, bother. I'm Australian. And then... Oh no. Just when you thought that the plushes couldn't get any worse. What I the? am absolutely certain this is another bootleg. I know I broke my own rules again, but come on. It I looks like it's been run this. over, thrown in the, uh, the washer and dryer, sack. and then run it's over like again. I discovered a fossil. I hate it. Uh, I've got to be fair. I suppose I should take him out and get a proper look. <laughs> well, here we are. His hair is a twig. And what is going on with the rounded teeth? He's not Crash, he's Wallace. You really ate all of these pies? <laughs> you fat bastard. And I know what you're all probably thinking. Cads, if you have taken a couple of liberties for buying bootleg merch, then did you find the original Japanese bootleg plush that would then be turned into fake Crash in the official canon? You'll be amazed to hear. No, I scoured the internet from eBay International to websites Zero where you could buy a wife and I couldn't find a single one. And out of everything else I managed to find for this video, that's saying a hell of a lot for how coveted or rare it must be. Either way, that is it for bootlegs, I promise, because I could go on forever about them. They seem to be endless and some of them are a little bit... So let's carry on with some more official Crash plushes, like this one. It's Crash in scuba gear. It's pretty cool. This here is from Kelly Toy in 2005, and yeah, I'm not a massive I think fan I remember of his this. emo hair, his Jay Leno chin, his gangly horse riding legs, and his slightly dirty stomach. I think I actually stomach. remember what seeing this one somewhere. What does that belly button cheese smell like? Do I need to air it out with the officially licensed Crash Bandicoot oh, air fresh? Despite all of this though, I really don't care because it's a Crash plush in another costume that's overall pretty great quality. I love the see-through plasticky visor and the oxygen tube connected to the tanks on his back. Great little details. It's just a shame that Jar Crash couldn't get some of the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I die in here, my, my husband's with me, so I, I'd be happy. And while we're on a different well, costumed crash binge, who wants to see my absolute favourite plush that can never be topped no matter what anybody says? <laughs> okay, here we, we have love representation. Yeah. Cash biker plush, <laughs> but instead of his leather jacket, they gave him a gimp suit. All that's missing for him is a load of red lights and a pole. I love this. He's literally glistening. I never thought I'd see Crash in skin tight PVC before, but I'm glad I have now. Honey, do we have to? Look, you know the rules. When I'm in bed, he stays. Uh, oh my god. He's peeling off. Oh my god, <laughs> it's my phone. <laughs> Didn't expect that. And it's telling me that there are some American exclusive Taco Bell kids meal toys made for Crash Bandicoot. Guess I'm going to of America course. now. But how will I get there? I can't swim. I'll get tired. You get tired. Oh, look, everyone. It's a Crash Bandicoot bonus platform. And you know what that means? Yes, it's time for another Catacurus bounce round. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is how traveling works. <laughs> Actually, you know what the toilet reminds me of? 
Taco Bell. Yes, everybody, you didn't think we I'd love this be joke. Crazy it's enough to never do it, old. did you? But I did. We are having Taco Bell in America. You can tell it's America. I am actually in America right now. Look, that's an uh, that's an American phone. Um, that's that's not good enough. There you go, American plugs. We are in America. We are in an American <laughs> hotel. I have got Taco Bell, and hopefully, um. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hopefully, we'll have some free Crash Bandicoot merchandise toys in the bag. And, oh, god damn it. Right, I've cleared up as much <laughs> as I can be bothered, so we're going to be having a Taco Bell dinner. And we, whoa, how lucky are we? We've got four Taco Bell toys. Um, if any of these aren't actually from Taco Bell, um, well, I said that they are because they came from the Taco Bell bag. So you can't argue with facts. To start with, we've got this cool little yeah, thing, okay. which is based okay. on the original, like, okay. early 90s. But where's all the plastic that it comes in? Where's the little ugly ass, annoying ass, gets everywhere plastic? Don't even. Don't even. <clears throat> Saw a video where people did a blind taste test of Taco Bell. Because the myth is most Taco Bell items taste exactly the same. Well, I mean... This model of Crash, I don't know what it does. It just stands Yeah, most of them are going to taste the same if you all eat them the and same way. And then we have this yeah. one as well. Which, um, we get, he, like, he's a little bit things. more interesting because he not well, only is in a, a strange Taco Bell. pose, but he also can twist his arm, which I would love to show you, but I'm, I can't do it with one hand. Look, see? He twists his arm, so you can have him... There? Wow. There. And when he's like this, he's perfect for the kids. Uh, you know why that is? Because in their kids' meal, they'll have their food, and then they get to take home a lovely little cigar holder. They've got this cool little <laughs> crash figure in a holder. Jeep. He's pretty cool looking. Very, what all very, the kids very need. gleamy about everything. And um, the idea with him is he's got some heavy gear mechanisms in his wheels, so you can basically just kind of set him off to go, and then... Pretty cool. I like it. Not as much as the I like dramatic this, gas. It's um I didn't really understand what it was at first. It's it's actually a water gun. It's a water squirter. So you put the water in a the water little hatch squirter. There, and then he squirts it out of his um definitely um a turret submachine gun. I don't know give why your, he's holding Give your this, child a toy that water squirts squirter in this specific manner. It's it's kind of aggressive, honestly. And I don't know about the pose either. Is he is he is he proposing to me? I well. do crash. Okay, so I filled up the water. I've closed <laughs> yeah, we the already knew the and, answer, um, Kenny. We already knew the answer. It, it doesn't. Um, he just doesn't. Well, he he doesn't. <coughs> he he doesn't. Uh, which is a shame because I wanted to put my diet coke from Taco Bell Listen. in there and then kind of aim it into my mouth Listen. and drink it from. The okay. All right. All right. Listen, Kenny. He's a little. He's a little up there in age. All right. Um, sometimes after a while, they can't squirt like they used to. All right, it's hard to it's hard to get that squirt action sometimes. Weird whole end, but uh, we're not going to be doing that funny for this video because the the toy is a piece of shit that doesn't work. Although I suppose <laughs> there's probably like twenty year old mold in here, and I don't I don't. Oh yeah, there's probably up, something growing so... in there. I love you. Taco. <laughs> you know, speaking of merchandise. Merchandise. Help! Help! I'm stuck in the TV! I'm still in PS1 land and there's a kite with a face that won't leave me alone! Hello, I'm Spuds! I'm not sick anymore because I'm immortal! Don't you find it funny how Bandicoot Month is June, but yet these videos are never out in damn June? Well, you can show everybody how much you don't care about that and celebrate Bandicoot Month every single month with the new official Bandicoot t-shirt on the official <laughs> Catacruz merchandise store in the description below. And that's not all, there's also a Cash Banuka shirt, a new claymation logo shirt and a crash bandicoot plan and relic tracking poster where you can now do exactly what caddy did in a video a few years ago and get every single plan and relic in every single crash game and check them off as you go on this poster that's designed after the london underground map and you have to buy something Lovely. because that's the only way you're getting me out of ps1 land and i want to get out of here right now because i can't make any money in here oh and the actual real life caddy is in here with me too yeah that one that you're watching on the video right now he's a replica he's fake he's right yeah get me out now and don't listen to whatever the other caddy is telling you he's a a liar! He's an imitation! He's a skinwalker! Get away from Not him a now. skinwalker! Oh, that shit's fucked up.
Now I know I showed off the first for I can't tell. Statue earlier Did he on confirm it or not? Mostly because they are the cream of the crop <laughs> when it comes to video game based statues. I mean, Christ, look at these. I wish I had all of them. But that doesn't mean there aren't other statuettes and other high detail display figures that you can get. Like these ones here. Currently, at least, this is the complete set of Crash Vinyl figures yeah, from you U2's. Can't, you can't say his ads are not creative. Time, and two random one offs like this adorable Ripperoo and Crash going. <laughs> And while we're talking about vinyl figures, there's always <laughs> Funko Pops. Oh my god, Funko Pops. <laughs> oh, don't get upset with me, I'm allowed to do that, because believe it or not, I used to have the entire set of Crash Bandicoot Funkos. I've earned the right to burn them, I have no spine. I didn't burn all of them though, I got rid of them ages ago, either to charity shops or to my kids all around the house. But rest assured, you can get these if you really, really want to. But if you really want to get them, then I really want to not talk to you. In Funko's defense though, they are capable of making some good shit, especially when they aren't busy trying to replace everybody's eyes with black swollen lymph nodes. They really least six of these mini vinyl crash team racing figures in 2019 yeah there's and some, some funko pops where they actually do a good job that these were from the pop vinyl but people they majority have so of much them detail are just personality the characters have their own cars eh. all of their wheels are bent slightly differently they aren't copy pastes of the same plastic mold oxide even has his own hovercraft how great is that <clears> and then you have this pretty well crafted and not too expensive crash 4 statue from numbskull oh yes first time i get to mention these guys if you have ever owned anything remotely unique or or quirky related to video games before, chances are Numbskull were the ones who made it. That Christmas jumper, those Crash Team Racing coasters, the yeah, glasses, Numbskull the used to be everywhere. Mugs, the bottle opener, even the kind of uh, kind of like a uh, loot crate from that last video we watched. This is another pretty used cool to be fucking one. everywhere. Look, Crash is Gen Z. What kind of photos is he taking? This is what he sees. Oh, and you know what else Numbskull are responsible for? Not these. This is a Crash 4 Coco Bandicoot statue from Cable Guys, who specialize in making statues with we a purpose. Play Crash Team that Racing? purpose Did being we have it? putting a controller or phone on it. That's fun, isn't it? And My backlog of games is so huge, I don't even don't know what I have There's the game-wise anymore. And then you aim your object in a downwards motion towards the statue's arms with the aid of gravity to place it, and then you win. Thank you, round, bold child. I'm happy that you told me not to put my controller on your head. Now, the thing is, <laughs> I think this is pretty sweet for what it is, but I wanted to see what other oh, ones fuck. I could get. So I went back online and found myself a Crash one. But they didn't tell me it was the size of a car! Oh yeah, is holding a phone or a controller not exciting enough for you? Well, how about a cable yeah, guy statue that can copy? hold a Damn, Steam really. Deck? This is absurd. Speaking, of, speaking the most of that, like... Oh my god, I'm so pissed still after all these years. But a lot of my older games, like from the PlayStation 1 era, like all the way up to, um, I want to say GameCube era, like a lot of those games I had, like I collected that shit, I held on to that shit, and a majority of them either got stolen, sold, or they uh, got messed up in. Uh, that one year, years ago, when my parents' basement area got flooded. Shit was floating everywhere. That's the Traumatized. Look at this Traumatized and pissed. It up. What elbows? What knees? And my favorite thing no about my. these things is that in order elbows for the stands knees. themselves to actually function, they had to do something to their arms. They're looking a bit long today, and I'm not sure those bends are normal, but, you know, if that's what needs to be done for Cash Banuka to pick up a Nintendo Switch, I'm all for it. You can make their arms look like a gangly spider. I don't mind. During the making of this video, I was also thinking whether or not I should bother including the Skylanders figures as merchandise, considering that they're an accessory that's needed to play a game. But then I thought, yeah, why not? I mean, they're kind of like amiibos, aren't they? They're multi-purpose. You can use them in the games if you want, or you can display them, or so you can learn to make rounds. I don't want to lose my game. Fight with them. Yeah, I've actually it's seen. It's merchandise that <clears throat> also has a practical use. I've actually seen a lot of uh, a lot of things out there where they're legit just selling devices with uh, ROMs on it. It's just like three hundred, three thousand games on there, or some shit. And then you have ducks. Oh. These things are called tubs. Oh my god, I know about these. Oh, oh, no. And they no. are ducks. I know about these. What do you these. want me to say? Do you want Crash Bandicoot as a duck? Do you want Cortex as a duck? Do you want Coco as a duck? Do you want Engine with a missile in his head as a duck? Do you want me as a duck? Oh.
And you know the always best thing about caddy, these always. bath toys that were invented specifically to play with in the bath? They aren't bath toys. Why They're not, not a bath What's toy. The point yeah, of that's being rubber ducks. If you can't use them as rubber ducks. <laughs> when I first not... saw these, it was like I legit first thought it was an actual like just regular bath toy, just a custom one. But I think that one of the first ones I saw was like for Resident Evil, I want to say. But um, yeah, they're not fucking bath toys. They're just little collectible items. And I'll be for real. I wouldn't mind having these. I'm not going to go out of my way for them. But I think they're like funny little collection things to have. But I'm not going to go out of my way for them. Some skulls came up with this idea. There's only four of these <laughs> so skull far, and each come in their own biodome, sitting in a mini bathtub of their own, which is kind of cute, I guess. But hang on a second. What's that mark there? <clears throat> is that is that on the inside? Is that from his nose? Are they trying to break out? Am I safe? I like these things, but why can't you use them in the bath? I mean, look, they even have the hole. You know, that bit. The hole. Every water toy has a hole. You know, the hole. You know what? You can't <laughs> the police hole, me. Damn I'm going to play with these as they should be played with because I'm based. They flow. They're, they're, they're bath toys. What's the problem? <laughs> And oh, then you for... have the pissiest shitty of them all. Why? This. Look, it's our best friends at Funko again. What is this? They make soda now? Well, okay, I'm not against that <clears> idea. <throat> if you can name a cereal, Graham, then you can name a soda after Funko Pops, I suppose. So let's open it up and dig in. Oh, but that's not a drink. Well, this was secondhand. I suppose there wouldn't be any drink left, would there? Please note that Funko Vinyl Soda is not a beverage and does not contain any liquid. Well then, why? Rude. There we go. Oh, for we fuck's go. sake. It's liquid now. Uh, Drink up, kids. So, Funko, I'm, I'm on to you, all right? Um, honestly, this lovely fan here. honestly, I don't know what would be worse. Would be what he just created? Or the G Fuel? He bought me this, right? I've got one. He's got one. I had number one. He also has number one. I'm on to you. Oh no. They're not limited. Oh Honestly, no. Honestly, there's only one single Funko Pop related thing that I am keeping, and it is this tiny tiger figure gifted to me by a very generous fan of my channel lied, a few years ago, solely because it was signed by Brendan O'Brien, the original first voice actor for Crash, Brio, Engine, Komodo Mo, Tiny Tiger, Pinstripe, Cortex, and Crash 1, most of the PS1 cast, honestly. Sadly, however, during the making of this video, he tragically passed away at 60 years old. Mr. O'Brien, from the classic Crash Damn. villain monologues to the original Undisputed Whoa. Whoa! Thank you for what you gave to the series, and I hope you rest in peace. I will treasure this. Never thought I would ever treasure a Funko Pop, but, you know, <laughs> life is strange. And honestly, I don't know how to transition from that without it sounding too abrupt, so... Do you want a Crash Bandicoot light up USB cable? This is probably the most how unnecessary did you know, thing Caddy? I've seen. It's a it's micro what I've always USB wanted. cable, but lights up with Aku Aku on it. I don't get it. It also comes with some thumb grips to help you grab the cable, but sadly they are not very effective. They're too wide. Who the hell made this stupid thing? Oh, <laughs> well. Our old pal numbskull. Well, hey, at least you can mix and match the cable with the cable guys to charge whatever it is Crash is holding. Hello, I'm Crash Bandicoot, and I have <coughs> a Neon Willy. Hey, Caddy, how's it going? Whoa, 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 you can't bring Who him in here. Who doesn't want a Neon Willy? You know why. Ah, leave him alone, he's not hurting anyone. You crossed a line. I can't believe it. He's just invited my cousin, the mug. But he has something very <laughs> important to tell you. I promise you he doesn't. Yeah, uh. All right, what is it? <laughs> Well, drink. <laughs> So you have these mugs well... here shaped like crash boxes and are a total pain in the dick to drink anything out of without yeah, getting it all I, down I your always... chin. But at least that's better than being a total pain I in always the chin wondered to drink how... anything out of without getting it all down your dick. These are the most practical <laughs> cups ever I always created. wondered you how one well you could actually cup. drink what out of those. What are you supposed to do with these? Hook your lip over the ridge of the circle and lap it up like a dog? Surely we can get a cup that actually works as a cup. <gasps> it's round. It's pourable. 
It has crash on it. You were so close. Look, I get it. You want to make a, <laughs> a wacky mug, but out of every possible shape or crash reference you could use as a handle, you pick the thing that turns your fingers into a garden rake. You nearly had it, guys. I'm so disappointed. I've been disappointed by a cup. But just when you thought it was impossible to make an implement for pouring liquid into your mouth, <laughs> here comes this. A mug. But not just a mug, a magic mug. Well, from what we've seen so far, we love magic, a magic it's mug. just a completely normal mug. But let's put some boiling water in it and see what happens. <gasps> oh my god. My mug is ill. <laughs> Quick, doctor! He's gone green! God damn it. I can't lose another day. That isn't an option. Hang in there, damn it. Hang in there. Oh, for Ooh. fuck's sake. Just get me a towel. I can't. It's laundry day. For Christ's sake. not laundry day. We need to act now. He's dead. That escalated. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, well, what? Right, so we may be back on the, the completely practical train heading straight for unusable station. But for this so one much example happened. from Numskull, I don't actually care because it's bloody wonderful. It's a two-parter. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, though. I kind of felt like I was watching one of those soap operas and it was like one of the medical scenes. <laughs> we need... Okay, we need it now. A, a, a caddy soap opera right now. Crash Team Racing Trophy. I mean, I would never actually want to put any boiling water in here. It's too shiny. But either way, how awesome is this? It's the perfect place to keep your Crash Nano blocks in. Oh, shit! And now we have <laughs> another problem. I can't drink plastic. And also, I now have more mugs than coasters, so what do I do now? Why, get a load of lenticular 3D drink coasters, of course. These are pretty neat. Not much else to say about them. They're drink coasters, and I know it looks like it, but trust me, they aren't actually deep. They're flat. It's just a clever trick. Those tricksters. And while we're... <gasps> <laughs> and while we're talking about 3D lenticular stuff, have you guys ever seen these collectible trading cards before? Now these are pretty special. These were made in 2000 and were free gifts in old promotional packs of Italian snacks from a company called Mr. Day. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Day. How does it feel to look like a hotel bed stain? All I could gather from the promo is well... that you could find these cards inside specially marked packets of muffins, and there were tons of them. I only managed to find six myself, but I'm happy with this, especially since loads of these tiny little things on eBay can go for like $80 each. So I'm good with what I've got. I actually me, remember Mr. when that was like a really popular thing to wins. have. So now we're out of pasta land and back in... I honestly don't know. Are these American or English? I have no idea. It's like Christian Bale. These are apparently stickers uh, that uh, came from vending machines. Whatever that means. And they are probably even more rare than the 3D cards from Mr. Splooge. Especially if you manage to find them unused and still sticky. I can't imagine they'd be too nice if they came with 25-year-old hair. What I find really cool about them is I mean, you never know. Who's hair is it? individual ways in a very primary school noteboard kind of way. And I know I should probably use them as stickers, but to be honest, I don't want to. They were too much munty. So I'm just going to hang on to them safely and look at them. Like most of the other stuff I bought. Why do I do this? And why did I buy this, pray tell? The absolute weirdest object I've ever laid eyes on and the single most expensive sticker I've ever bought to. Jesus All the way from Christ. the land of cherry blossoms and Pepsi Man, here is a 2002 <laughs> Crash Bandicoot Game Boy Advance control sheet sticker. Look, I get the idea. I admire the attempt. Well done, Japan. You tried. But if you were going to cover your Game Boy Advance in these stickers to help you remember how to play a side scroller that uses four buttons, what about all the other games you have on your Game Boy? Once you stuck these down, you can't unstick them and swap them for another game's controls. What happens if you want to bring them back? You can't. They're stickers. You stick them on once, take them off, and then they all magically grow hair and never stick again. That's just how it works. No, I see what you're doing. This yeah, sticker is a pretty on point, yeah. wife for your Game Boy Advance. You have to commit to it, yet it doesn't give you anything in return and just selfishly hogs up all of the space, not contributing anything to anything aside from itself. That's what this is. This sticker is a parasitic glutton leeching on your GBA that demands you only pay attention to it and nothing else. And the ultimate irony about it is that it's for Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure, which, let's be real, isn't even a 10, so why did you even marry it? I've uh, forgotten my point. At least the uh, stickers look pretty cool. <laughs> and I always love how Japanese we going with that? their Western platforming characters. They all look completely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> How's it going? I'm a tiger. Oh no, my debit card is on fire. 
I better find something cheap right now. And luckily, I found some figures here from Totaku, which, despite the Coco and Cortex ones being exclusive to GameStop in the US, still didn't cost me that much, including import fees. I don't know why, I think they're pretty cool little things. They're like amiibos that are broken and have no use. You would even think that this extra special limited edition Golden Crash figure would have been at least a little bit more, because, you know, it's gold. But the funny thing is, my Coco figure costed more than that. Yeah, a lesson there for you, Funko and Headstar. Just because you spray a plastic mold gold and call it limited edition doesn't make it automatically worth anything. I want to see no someone way, scrape off the you gold. Know the stuff that's really valuable? See what's underneath. Gestures of kindness and generosity, like with what other people do for you on your birthday. And even though the 19th of June is my birthday, I decided to get Ollie some presents too. Happy, happy birthday. Oliver. <laughs> what? What the so, you fuck? Know the, you know the great thing about that card? I'm going to put a screenshot up. Is that the place I ordered it from? That's the only one they had. Uh, Oliver, six years old. That's the only one. I've Screenshot uh, is on the screen. They, I couldn't customize it. It was just Oliver, six years uh, old. It was meant to be. And I also got this. Okay, I will admit this isn't official, but I also got you a special present as well. I got you this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thanks. Well, I actually <laughs> got you something for your birthday. Oh yeah. What'd you get? Oh no. Oh I don't no. Want this. But I know somebody who does. What's up, my long neck? Oh, for fuck's sake! Here we channel. go. Long Dennis unlonging, <laughs> and today we have some special limited edition Crash Bandicoot <coughs> merchandise in these special. <laughs> loot crates! Let's see what we've got in the box! Let's see what we've got in the box! Let's see what we've got to start with! We have. <laughs> A Crash Bandicoot wallet! I've got one of these already! Woo! Oh, no. And for another thing I already have... It Sell it on eBay for $5,000. shoulder bag, which I also already have! But for some things I don't have, we've got a nice Crash Bandicoot hat! Let's put it on and see how it fits, shall we? Check <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it on! <laughs> I see! If it fits my long head! Hooray! I'm now ready to hit the streets with my hat and my uh, Crash Bandicoot lanyard for all of the times I go to the long convention! <laughs> the long convention! The long convention! Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Ah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no! For this fuck's is sake! It's a TNT big mystery loot crate box. Why is it not coming off? Oh! <laughs> The arch nemesis of the long family! Small pieces of tape! <laughs> Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-boom! Hey, Crash Bandicoot hot drink travel mug! For all the times I go driving in my limousine when I sit in the very back of it! Uh, yeah, that's totally, yeah! yeah. We have a nice little seat. We have a <laughs> Just crash move on. Crate. Quickly Stress moving on. Ball that you can squeeze. Yes. It helps me unwind when I have a new letter in the door from my long ex-wife when she wants me to pay Not long child maintenance. Not Angry. It's a long <laughs> Not the long ex-wife. It's a belt, apparently. <laughs> 
<laughs> thank, thank you, assistant. And then the final thing from this box is... I think you put your key in it. Thank you for watching this new long unboxing. Make sure you go to gfuel.com forward slash long to get 25% off Fuck your order. Fuck Gfuel, I can't. Right I then, can't. What are we looking at next? I'll tell you. <laughs> Free kids meal toys Stop. from Hardy's and Carl's Jr. Uh, wait. What? Hardy's and Carl's Jr. are American. But I've been to America. Well? Am I going back to America? Yeah. So the closest Hardy's to my hotel was an hour away. I, I drove an hour away from my hotel to get to get some Where Hardys the fuck did you go in America? Because usually <laughs> they're around every corner. Kids meal toys from the early 2000s. Let's hope I'm lucky. <gasps> Look, guys, I got chips everywhere. But either way, how lucky am I? They managed to pack the entire Crash Kids Meal set in here. And only look, one of them one in, in plastic. For Hardee's, and it's got three Crash things on it. A pullback, a pullback, and a bend back. I think they gave me a used cigarette. We've got um, a pullback. <laughs> they must have known, they must have known you um, were jet boardy thing. We're from you around back, there. Falls over. <laughs> oh, wait. Crash apart crash. It's supposed to have a box he can break. Hardy's, you forgot to pack the breakable Crash Bandicoot breakable box toy. Then we have this thing here. We got a little bendable Crash. And do you know what? I thought it was going to be a piece of crap, but it's actually all right. He does bend pretty much in every direction that you want. I don't know why he looks like the color of LucasAid, but yeah, he's good. <laughs> so now we get to open this. And because this is still in the bag, that means it has not been used once. Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells. It smells of the year 2001. And here he is. It's a um, crash riding a big metal egg. And he has um, some very, very wide, wide feet. This front on profile is really, really awful. I hate it. And this pointing at you while he looks at you like that is like he's trying to enter something in you. And I am not OK with it. What does it do? Is it just a pullback? Yeah, you can stay down there. You know something? I usually well... love destroying <laughs> priceless gaming artifacts, but I haven't felt with this video inclined to do that because this stuff was just so expensive. So right now I am yearning to smash something. If only there was a toy. Here we a go. Crash Bandicoot. Here we go. That told me. I could smash it. It's a Crash Bandicoot smash box surprise. Here Tear we go. Tear off the wrapper smash box to reveal crash figure. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe not that hard. You know what? This is an idea I can get behind. Sort of. I've never been a fan of this borderline gambling where kids spend their whole month's pocket money for a chance to get a new figurine that they don't already have. But at least in this case, the figures are pretty sweet. You have a built-in display system after you get the figure out, and it's true to yeah, what it's Crash done is best right, known for. It's breaking good. boxes. It's a clever real-life crossover. Not bad, Head Start. Now all I'm confused about is why your thing that's supposed to be broken was packaged like a bomb shelter, and yet your delicate action figures were broken before I even touched them. Oh, actually, speaking of figures, I've got a few more to show you that I've acquired over the years. Like this one from NECA that my sister got for me for my birthday in 2019. And even though it looks beautiful, it's so heavy that his ankles can't sustain his mass. Bad birthday present, Rosie. But don't worry. <laughs> I forgive you. It doesn't matter anyway, because <laughs> later on that year, I then found this extra large deluxe crash figure from the same company with a jet board. And man, this is easily one of the best crash action figures I've ever seen. The articulation, the detail, the weight balance, the fact his belly button looks like a sphincter. It's basically the first for figure statue if you were able to mess around with it. I love been talking about thing. Crash Bandicoot's belly. These two belly are pretty amazing too. I've got a bit of a thing for video game based Hot Wheels, like all the Mario Kart ones. And these two, exclusive to America, are no exception. Crash and Spyro as toy cars. If I, I had these as a kid, I would have screamed and then chewed off the paint and died. I actually have no complaints. If Crash and Spyro looked like cars, this is exactly how they would look. And not like that demented Tommy Pickles one where the back end is a nappy filled with his own feces. Yeah, it's a dump truck. Do you get it? <laughs> Even the fact that Spyro has headlights that are supposed to be his smoking nostrils and Crash's nose is right up in Aku Aku's sweaty back are grounds enough oh, to warrant God. a purchase for me. These are great. I'm not taking them out of the packages though. What? You think I'm gonna use a toy?
What am I, a savage? And then, <laughs> then, 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 <laughs> there's probably the cream of the crop for Cash Banuka action figures. This Crash 4 figure from the Good Smile Company in Japan. These are what they call Nendoroids, little chibi versions of pop okay, culture icons. Okay, I do icons, know about these. And that would be fine enough, but man, they but they're you But they're usually ones I see. Aren't they, like, usually pretty pricey most of the time? Because I don't have, I've never bought one, I've never had one, so I don't know. But I have seen them before. And they're usually pretty pricey. All out with this. Look at what you've got to mess with here. Multiple swappable body parts, facial features, poses, eyes. You could make your own stop motion with this level of customization in your hands. And it helps that the figure itself hasn't been overly stripped down or stylized for the sake of a corporate gimmick to make their brand of figures stand out. It's just a small and adorable version of Crash. I mean, come on, look at his feet. His toes bend. Don't you want to give this little bastard a hug? No? Well, how about these? What, you don't want a hug from them? I don't know why. These are from a company <laughs> called Kid Robot and are much like the Smash Crate mystery figures from earlier in that you pay to hopefully get another figure that you don't already have, except instead of you having a fun time breaking the thing open that you just bought, these mystery figures just come from bags instead, which is fine if you'd like a good bag. But that's not the only disappointing <laughs> thing about these. We just love I mean, having a good bag. You can bag. see what I can see, right? Coco looks like she just saw a dead seagull. Crash looks like he's about to flash you. And Cortex... Cortex is just... Staring into my soul. At least the masks look okay. <laughs> the laugh he does good. for him. But then you get the Crash <laughs> variation figure with Aku Aku on him. And once again, it not only looks like he's been soldered onto Crash's face, but it also makes Crash's face look like a giant slab of red Lester. And then there's the normal Crash where, wait, I already have Crash. Is this another one? Why do I have two? Hang on, wait. Is that normal? Did they make two versions of Crash with different eyes or was this one just printed wrong? Is he okay? Was he born incorrect? Does he have dark thoughts? Do I need to banish you? I think I need to banish him. <laughs> Banished off the island. Oh my god, why didn't... How is it legal for this him to buy matches? This the Kid Robot made for Crash, though. They also <laughs> gave the plushy thing a shot, and the result is a thumb. I mean, I guess I've seen worse, but with Cortex, I kind of lose it when you turn him around and see the rest of his hair. It looks like somebody pooed on an egg. <laughs> then they have their own bespoke Crash plush, and oh, oh no, the eyes are wonky. It wasn't a mistake. It's intentional. Why are they doing Cash, wonky I'm so eyes? Sorry. <laughs> for, for fuck's sake, <laughs> no. I also managed to grab a Coco no. one still wrapped in her own little cocoon. And you know what? I'm glad she's in it because I never want her out. There's something about that face, man. She's got a very Renee Zellweger fish thing going on. <laughs> the best thing about these plushes undoubtedly though is that even though they were made by Kid Robot, they are all named Funny. I love it. I'll call this one Make Thummy. And you know what like else you can do I with know, your but thumbs? It's like Aside from putting them in someone's just eyes? Stay in the game. Yes, that's right. You, know? you can use them to push in Enamel pins. I write for a living. You can find crash Ooh. pins everywhere. They're a nice epidemic, so-called, because they're everywhere but don't kill anybody. But two pin sets in particular for me caught yeah, my I eye just because the, they were uh, in, well, sets and, and some very it. cool boxes to boot. Starting with the least cool one, though, is this one from Numskull. Just a few basic, as you'd expect, pins in a crate-shaped box with a little window. Nice and neat. But then yeah, see, something like that's pretty cool, but I've never told, been into okay, collecting the pins and shit. We have some shit. Crash Team Racing pins for Nitro Fueled. Can you sell them together? And Numskull missed her that information as Create a Replica Magnetic Toolbox. Honestly, the what? pins are cool, Wait. don't get me wrong, but I wanted this purely for the box alone. It is the dog's nads. You might be wondering where the <laughs> other pins the are hiding. Nads. And, well, they are being proudly displayed on my pin backpack, along with a couple of other random crash pins I've come across in my time. Inside the bag is also my Crash Bandicoot journal, just in case I need to write down the addresses of people that look at me funny. Or whenever so I feel everyone in your neighborhood. some fan art. Ah! What? You didn't see that. And all of this no, goes wait a minute. Hold with on. Crash Bandicoot. Hold on. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Banard. Ah! You didn't see that. And all of this goes perfectly with my Crash Bandicoot pencil case. Wait. 
Why is it all nubby? You can't fit a pencil in there. What the? Oh shit, son! It's long. It's not a show. It's a grower. <laughs> now I finally have a place to keep my Japanese crash team Nubby racing sure, promotional ruler and eraser still oh, sealed. How sweet sake. is this? And also my other crash bandicoot ruler, crash bandicoot eraser, crash bandicoot pen, crash bandicoot pencil that has no lead at the end. Oh, don't worry, I can sharpen it with my crash bandicoot sharpener. What a nifty little thing this is. Although I must admit, I am a bit 50/50 on it because on one hand, it's very unique and can shrink to fit whatever bag you carry and on the other hand it's a foreskin i'm sorry i know that's vulgar but what else do you want me to say <laughs> that is what it is and i love how it's torna that pops out from under the fold look at her face she knows what's happening she likes it oh yeah she the loves smirk a rubber in the morning the, but the no smirk rubber says it all night, you know what I'm saying? what's that well of course right away just found out it was american Oh, beans! Look, everybody! It's half past eyebrow! And you know what that means? <laughs> it's nearly eyebrow. the end of June! 2022! And I need to go uh... to a convention to see if any kind fans will give me some Crash Bandicoot related merchandise. I'm going to America again! This time, I'm not Oof. going to rush it. We need to make sure we have everything. So before you leave, don't forget to pack your carry-on flight bag with another Crash Bandicoot pencil case to fit all of your charges in, and more importantly, your Crash Bandicoot A4 document wallet in order to keep your passport safe. I've always wanted Torna to look after my travel insurance. And of course, you're going to need some portable <laughs> games for the flight, so make sure you stick your Switch in your Crash Bandicoot Switch case or your other Crash Bandicoot Switch case, depending on what mood you're in. Yeah, there's don't always going to be more luggage than one. for all of your modern licensed Crash Bandicoot clothes, and to zip them all up with your mystery bag Crash Bandicoot luggage tag. Please tell me he my actually crash can't smell anything. traveled this way. But that's okay. I already have another one of course and i already have another one then make sure you head downstairs and grab your car keys with your numbskull crash question mark box key ring on stick them in your pocket while they stab into your leg and stick out like a hernia get in the car and start <laughs> to head off making sure that you've attached your crash team racing fuzzy orange dice for extra styling <laughs> when you get to the airport and eventually on the plane you can always choose to wear your crash <laughs> triple filtration face masks that i wish were bootlegs but i promise you they really really weren't look you can see here they're made by the same people that made some of the mugs i can't believe it and yes you don't have to wear these but I don't want to give anyone my British disease. Symptoms include beer belly, bad teeth, and an urge to colonize an African country. Then oh when you get to your convention, God. you might get lucky enough to be gifted all he sorts of there. oddities, like this incredible Crash Team Racing electric pinball set. Yes, this was actually gifted uh, to me one time, and it features all of the classic Crash Team Racing sound effects that's actually we all pretty know cool. and love, like... And... 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 This is the best thing I've ever had. Thank you so much for the gift. And you might end up getting extra lucky on top of that and receive this giant ass book made by Dark Horse, The Crash Bandicoot Files. And even though it has a lot of really amazing historical crash artifacts like level plans, concept art, gameplay notes, and all sorts dating back to the early mid 90s when Crash was still known as Willy the Wombat, it's not actually that good because it doesn't fit in my numbskull Crash Bandicoot gaming cabinet. I mean, come on, what the hell? If you're gonna give oh me a God. gift, make it considerate. All I can do with this thing is put headphones on it and a Crash Bandicoot Switch controller. And a Crash Bandicoot Switch controller. And a Crash Bandicoot <laughs> Switch controller. Well, at this convention, this lovely dude here Hello. has shown me that they had these. I had no idea about these at all. What and the fuck? It's too late now, so thanks for ruining my video. Anytime. Which then led Google to recommend me the <laughs> nice. student planner from 2000, nice. which I also couldn't find. And then all of these Wumper Fruit scented candles from Numskull that I couldn't find anywhere. And then all of these snacks from 2001 that I also couldn't find anywhere. But honestly, that's actually a good thing because they're from Italy and they're over 20 years old. So they probably taste like feet. And then for a final <laughs> present oh, from damn. a fan of your YouTube channel that you definitely have, you might end up getting even luckier with this Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Car Dashboard Hula Dancer, which you can also add to your car on the way home and look a right ball in G. <laughs> By the way, while I was wearing it for a few minutes, the crash mask on the plane attracted the attention of one of the airplane staff. Is that a crash bandicoot face mask? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, I love it. Really? It's yeah. horrible. Is that it? Are we That's done probably now? why they loved it, because it was horrible. I'm not sure. Honestly. What does my Crash Bandicoot 4 promotional sand timer say? Okay, we've got a little bit of time left, so I'm going to end this video with the biggest bang that I can bang. And no, I'm not just saying that. These final things I'm about to show you are some of the rarest pieces of Crash merchandise that you can find on this planet. And I managed to find quite a lot of them. At the expense of my mortgage, but I got them! 
and they're easily the most valuable and who coolest needs, pieces of Crash to, merch from my collection. Who You'd needs think, the Morgan, wouldn't you? you? That some of the stuff we've shown uh, off today, like vintage plushes, the pinball set, the statue, the RC yeah, car, like the and Japanese exclusive thing. limited edition things would be the pricier parts of this little collection I now have. And yes, you'd be right. They were all pretty damn pricey. And believe it or not, one of the most expensive single items I ended up finding for this was a vintage Crash 1 promo cap from 1997. Yeah, I was surprised it was expensive too. And it was so what? much that I'm now never going to wear it. I could burn it though. But if you're what into Crash fuck? Bandicoot and you know anything oh, about I want his the incense one. That's actually pretty word, damn cool. Resaurus should send a shock to your system. If you know, you know. And if you don't, the buckle the hell up. Resaurus <laughs> were a company in the mid to late 90s that had the first original rights to Crash <laughs> Bandicoot action figures and plushes. In fact, just to ease you in, I'll show you something a little bit older and a little bit softer, like a grandma. I have two of the Resaurus Crash plushes from very early 1998, some of the earliest Crash plushes in existence, and yeah, they're pretty wicked, but I really do appreciate the love for the Komodo brothers in merchandise form. This is something you do not see every day. Going back on track though, like I said, they also had rights to the original first line of Crash action figures between late 1998 and early 2001. Yeah, we're learning were some history. To make 21 in total across three waves of figures, but only two waves ever came out, and in turn, only 13 figures from the sets were ever created, the rest of them existing as nothing but concept art, leading oh, to the remaining damn. Crash figures out in the wild to become extremely valuable collector's items. And when I say extremely valuable, I am not exaggerating Holy the dramatic effect of an unremarkable story. Fuck. I mean that people on eBay will sell unpackaged figures for tons with missing limbs. In fact, look at this Dingadal figure here. Depending on the condition on his body and if he has his accessories, he can sell for 500 pounds on his own, but what he's still worth 150 pounds with no accessories. What the fuck? And no jaw. When I was a kid. Oh my God. I used to have a lot of these figures. Complete with accessories. And I loved them. But then I lost them. They're gone. And I'm pretty sure I chewed off both of Crash's legs. The only surviving well, things shit. from us at this point are the Dingadar body that my sister managed to salvage from our old house. And I saved this Aku Aku from you know, one of the sets, had the which I know doesn't look or sound like much, but this is how much it can go for online. What? Yeah. For this tiny rubbery sandal some of the, okay years, to put it, it into context though it's mine. like some someone someone out there is probably like that's not much listen put it in the context some of these little sometimes broken things costing almost what a brand new game cost not that long ago before they brought it up to like 70 bucks like some of this shit is costing as much as a a, a shitty triple a game a brand new one that it's it, it's wild to try and recover these figures back to a complete set. I didn't even care if they were boxed or not, I just wanted the figures back. And obviously, as you can imagine, the biggest thing slowing me down with that was the financial aspect of it, as well as a lot of waiting around for good deals instead of me being impatient and blowing 5,000 pounds on a Komodo Mo figure. Oh my fucking God. This listing has 12 watchers. There's a market for this. And now you're about to see the fruits of my labor. There's After a market years, for everything. And I mean literally years of bargain hunting, searching around, picking up single parts of the collection whenever I could at good prices from conventions and online and waiting for the right moment to show off what I'd found. Here it is. Uh, I've been collecting these figures secretly <laughs> and individually for many years now and wanted to wait for the right moment to start showing them off. I don't have all 13, but I have 10 of them, all in Ooh, varying so conditions, close. but all boxed. And just looking at this lineup sets <clears throat> my nostalgia off something fierce. Don't worry, I wasn't stupid enough to spend thousands on each figure. I've been a savvy bargain hunter and I've been very patient, hence I'm only just talking about this now. But rest assured, this whole collection is not cheap in the slightest. You know how people invest their money into property, stocks, pensions? 
I put it into Crash Bandicoot figures, but I didn't do this. I mean, honestly, with the way some of them like sell, that's actually I did it because I smart. wanted them. I did this for my childhood, man. And even though I don't have the complete set just yet, so look, yet, you're looking for a Mega Man Legends merch? Oh damn! Yeah. To see the rest of the figures come to life. I know I was literally four to six years old when these were coming out, and I probably would have chewed their faces off and shat all over them. But still, oh my God. the idea that you these mean, never came to be is a little. You bit and your never-ending adventure when it comes to the fucking dot hat games. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it, it's an ongoing saga with you in the dot hat games especially i <laughs> oh my yeah you oh my god you were so close to buying that that japanese copy of it for 250 and the next time we showed up it was gone heartbreaking for me especially for how high quality and detailed these figures are and for how much i loved the other figures when i had them as a kid and then i just lost them yeah i really loved them that much that they vanished and i didn't care <laughs> and then i had to spend god knows how much of my own adult money to fill a void in my childhood heart which i didn't even know i had it almost makes you want to skin a bandicoot and make it into a hat relatable hashtag relatable <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Happy Panda Cub, here's my Cash Panooka Shrine. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, y'all. Okay. What? Okay. Listen, I love me some Crash Bandicoot back in the day, but this is. I. I can't. There's not enough mortgages in the world. <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> Papa. Baptisms are just waterboarding your child for God. It's the head tilt for me. The adorable head tilt. I can't. That was, that was so fucking much, you guys. That was so fucking much. <laughs> but there was actually a couple of things that I wouldn't have minded uh, uh, paying some, some hard cash for. Because especially that incense one. That's actually such a cool thing. I, I, I know it's probably not a lot of people's favorite, but that's it, it's it's so simple, but also at the same time, amazing. <laughs>